Hey, what's up? Um, Nick White, uh, attacking, I do attacking coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and if you check the description, you can find everything, and um, I do all the hack rank and lead code solutions. I have play for, playlists for both of them, so uh, just check those out. This is called reversed only letters, and we did reverse string and reverse number already. Uh, this is basically the same concept. It's only just a little bit harder, and the time and space complexities are worse because of that. Um, it says, given a string S return the reverse string where all characters that are not a letter stay in the same place, and all letters are in the reverse position. So we're still reversing the string, it's just anything that's not a letter has to stay in the same place, meaning that the index of any character that is not a letter, for example this dash um, at index 1 in the input string, is going to stay at index 1 in the output string. So anything that's not a letter will stay at the same index. So there's two ways to do this, uh, you can use a stack or you can use a counter. Uh, so let's do the stack way first. So we're going to have a stack of characters, call it letters, is equal to new stack. Uh, then we're just going to loop through the string. We're going to do two loops through the string. Um, and then we're going to do a check. If character dot is letter, and that's where this character class is useful, uh, because you can literally just call the method is letter and determine whether a character is a letter. Um, so if the character is a letter, then we're just going to push it onto the stack. Otherwise, we're not going to do anything. So letters dot push s dot char at i. So what happens during this loop? So we loop through the string, we push all the letters onto the stack. So that reverses only the letters, and that's literally the name of the problem. It reverses the letters because when you put things on the stack, the last element's going to be, the top of the stack is going to be the, the last letter in the input string. So um, when we do the second loop, we can just pop off of the stack, and it'll be in the reversed order. So we're, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to do the second loop here. And it's going to be kind of the same conditions here. So if the character is a letter, then we're going to pop off of, we're going to put, we're going to, we're also going to need a string builder to store our new, it's going to, we're going to need a string builder in both of these versions to um, store our new string, the reversed version. So we have the string builder, we're going to append to the string builder. Um, letters.pop. And then I'll explain this in a second. And then otherwise we'll just append the current character. Okay, so what we're doing is we're looping through the second time. We have the reverse version of the string. And what we want to do is we want to keep anything that's not a character in the same order. So if we see something that's not a character, this else will get executed, and we're just going to append the current character. So that's going to work perfectly. Otherwise, if we saw a letter at the beginning, so say A, then we have this stack of reverse letters. We just pop off the stack and get the ending because we want the reversed, the actual reversed um, version of that. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's the e I think this is the easier way to do it, easier way to see how it's working and understand it. Um, then you just return uh, string builder dot to string. And this should work. Uh, what, no, you have to return it, sorry. Okay, so there, there you go, that's it. That's pretty much, that's pretty simple. You just have to kind of, it's, uh, I mean, hopefully I explained that well enough. You just, we're just keeping anything that's not a character in the same order. It's not that hard to understand. That's why this works. We reverse all the characters. We get the reverse character. Um, unless we see a character that isn't a letter, and if it isn't a letter, we just want to keep it the same, so we just append it. Otherwise, we get the reverse letter, obviously. Uh, so there's another way. This this seems more optimal to me, even though in, if you're dealing with something that's large scale, it's still the same time complexity and space complexity. Both of these are linear time and space. Um, so we're just going to have the string builder once again. And then we're just going to, instead of having a stack, we're just going to uh, have a counter. j is equal to s.length minus 1. 
um, kind of a pointer to the end of the string. And we're just going to kind of, you know, implement the stacks functionality in this problem with a pointer to the end of the string instead. So we'll just use a condition uh, in the little inner loop here. So if character dot is letter of s dot char i, so if the current character is a letter, then just like in the last one, if we see a letter, we're going to want the characters at the end instead of the ones at the beginning. Um, and if we don't see a letter, then we're going to want to just append. It's kind of the exact same thing as the last version, um, just a little bit different, you'll see in a second. So if we don't see a letter, we want the same exact order and everything. So you just append to the string builder, and it's the same thing. We're just going to return the string builder dot two string at the end. And then if you do see a character, this is the only thing you have to um, think about here is while character dot it while it's not a letter of s dot char at j. So this is kind of handling the stacks um, functionality because what we don't want is we don't want to reverse like it says reverse only letters. So we don't want to reverse things that aren't letters. So if we check the end of the string because when we see a letter we just check the end of the string and then we actually grab you know the we would check you know in this case we would check for j at the end of the string we see a we check for j at the end of the string and we put it at we put it into reverse string but if we were to see a, a dash here we wouldn't want to grab that because we don't want to reverse things that aren't letters so what we do is we just keep decrementing j so we would skip over anything that's not a letter until we found a letter and then once once this loop breaks, we have found a letter that we can add to reverse string to keep reversing it. And then we just append that. And then decrement J, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully that works first try. Um, let's see. There we go, first try. So those are the two solutions at the same time and space complexity. Um, differences. You have this little loop and condition versus a stack. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Let me know if you guys have a, found a better solution to those. Uh, this one's pretty easy, but I'm going to do a bunch of them right now. So uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, please check out the rest of the videos. Um, all right. Thanks. See you.